Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Bill. I'm a prepper and I'm living in the Philippines. This short clip here is going to be the intro to a new series that I'm going to start creating where I talk about freeze-dried food, specifically Augustine Farms, and where I open them up, take a review, and give you my solid feedback. Before I start getting into today's actual stuff, I do have, as you can see, a quite a large assortment of Augustine's Farm freeze-dried food. Now, some of this stuff has shelf life between 5 years, 10 years, and 25 years, and it is a good long-term if you're in the long-term food storage solution. Now, I'm just over 50, so I'm definitely looking at food that can go long-term because I will hopefully will be around long-term. Long-term food storage might not be for everyone because there is a cost involved with the storage, the space it takes out, plus the ROI, right? The price you're paying for branded freeze-dried food. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you know up top, all those black bins, that's all the food that I've been freeze-drying myself at a greatly reduced cost. However, freeze-dried food can be great, and it gives you a sense of security knowing that you have a lot of freeze-dried food in your pantry. And keep in mind, even as a person that owns a freeze-dryer, some of the stuff I don't want to make. I don't want to make powdered milk. I don't want to make uh, onions. I don't want to do a lot of things that I find that I'd rather buy. But anyways, so it's your personal preference as a prepper and how you stack your food storage. I have a mix. I certainly have a mix of canned foods, um, grain staples, and freeze-dried foods. I, I have a great mix. If, if you're curious about that, watch any one of my pantry videos. But this series, I wanted to actually open these cans up and cook it. I wanted to see if it's good. I wanted to give you my honest feedback about the taste of whatever um, flavor or brand I open. And then I wanted also just to double check. So that said, this is the intro. You're going to see the same intro on the next 10 videos in this series. But I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, remember to hit that like button. All right, everyone, welcome back. So you just saw the intro in today's particular flavor of Augustine Farms freeze dried food is going to be something a subscriber had asked me to do right away. And it's going to be something I actually have a lot of cans of is the broccoli florets and stems. Now I'm going to try to link something in this video, maybe at the end, but if you're buying this stuff, they have two different kinds of cans. They look very similar. This one says 28 servings, and I'm not quite sure what the other one says, but uh, there are different prices in different serving size. So I'll try to point that out when you're buying this stuff. In particular cans that I bought all say 28 servings. That's the only real difference I see, and uh, I'll try to figure that out towards the end of the video. Now, this is pretty straightforward. Um, without opening it yet, it's Pretty much take out what you need, soak it in warm water for five to 10 minutes and cook it like anything natural. So the lunch plan today is gonna to be some chopped soy and I'm gonna go ahead and let this soak for probably several hours because it doesn't hurt. And um, we'll get this can open and I'll get it soaking so you'll see what it looks like afterwards. Now, if you guys have been following along with my adventures of opening Augustine Farms cans. I'm gonna try again today. I did get this can opener and I'm still finding it to be a pain to open these cans. Hopefully this one goes better. Oh yeah, okay, so this one's going so far much better. Maybe that tomato one I opened the other day because it was hard was part of the issue. All right, it's still, it's still getting kind of tough here. These cans have consistently been a pain. All right, so right away I get a huge smell of broccoli right in the face. You know, uh, they're not as small as chunks as I thought they would be. I'm actually pretty happy about that. I mean, there's a lot of chopped up stem here, which I can see, which it says stems and florets, but there's definitely floret sized chunks in here. And it smells super, super broccoli, without a doubt. I'm gonna try to taste, taste this raw, just to see what it tastes like. 
Mm. It's actually not a bad little veggie snack. All right, guys. So not a whole lot to show you. I'm going to take this downstairs. I'm going to soak a good portion of this because we're feeding a lot of people today in water. And then we'll uh, show you what it looks like later. So stand by for two seconds. All right, it's been uh, two seconds for you guys, but I waited a couple hours. I was up early this morning anyways. So lunch is gonna be started to be cooked in an hour or two. Now, it says that it only needs five minutes in warm water to reconstitute, but you know what? Extra water won't hurt it. So here's what I got, is I got uh, a big thing of water, and I got about a third of the can of broccoli. And I didn't know if there's a, an O2 or not, so I'm gonna pour this in there slowly. Dust to end all. All right, let me get a spoon here real quick. So all I wanna do is I'm gonna give this, you know, an hour or two of soaking. Now the water's uh, room temperature water. It's not hot or it's or cold. Now this is gonna go into some chopped suey, I believe. All right guys, stand by and then hopefully I'll show you putting it into the pan. Now meanwhile, um, I'll go ahead and post some pictures here. I was able to find what I was talking about on Amazon on the two different cans, the eight serving of broccoli florets versus the 28 servings. And um, the smaller serving can is no longer available. Sorry about the noise, guys. It's early morning here. The smaller can is no longer available, but you can see what I was talking about when I was buying this stuff before. So anyways, uh, take a look at that. And then in two seconds, we'll come back with some cooking. Stand by. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so I had taken a nap since I was up early in the morning. And my wife had went ahead and cooked me up some uh, fried chicken and some of this chow mein using this broccoli. She said before I went to sleep that she had no problem using the broccoli. And you can see that there's broccoli in here. It's definitely here. It's included. It tastes good. Now, it's not as, it's not as crunchy as fresh broccoli would be, but it's also not bad, it tastes great. And it could just be the chow mein is cooked really well, so all the veggies cooked. All right guys, so comment down below what you think. Um, hit that like button, and until next time, everyone please be safe.